Hey everyone! In case you haven't heard, a total solar eclipse will be visible in Geneva, New York on April 8th. This is a rare and spectacular event that you don't want to miss, because the next total solar eclipse will not be visible in Geneva for another 120 years. My name is Leslie Hebb. I'm an astronomer at Hobart and William Smith Colleges. On April 8, 2024, the Sun, the Moon, and the Earth will move into perfect alignment, causing the Moon to pass directly between the Sun and the Earth, blocking some or all of its light. As the Moon moves in its orbit and the Earth rotates underneath of it, the circular Moon's shadow passes over a region of the Earth that cuts across the U.S. from Texas to New England. Everyone in the continental U.S. will experience a partial solar eclipse on this day, where the moon blocks some of the sun's light. But the cities and towns directly beneath the circular moon's shadow, also called the path of totality, will see a total solar eclipse, where the moon completely blocks the light from the surface of the sun for a few minutes. Geneva, New York is in the path of totality for the April 8, 2024 solar eclipse. Total solar eclipses are rare and spectacular events. The last total solar eclipse visible in Geneva was nearly 100 years ago in 1925. Unfortunately, the weather on this blustery January day was uncooperative and clouds blew in to cover the sun just before the eclipse. Here is what it looked like in nearby Troy and Ithaca, New York. To understand what causes eclipses and why they are so unique, we have to understand how the Sun, the Earth, and the Moon move in their different orbits under the influence of gravity. The Sun is the biggest and most massive object in the solar system by far. It's over 800,000 miles across in diameter. Over 100 Earths, or 400 moons, would fit lined up across the face of the Sun. Even though the Sun is bigger than the Moon by 400 times, they appear the same size in the sky. Solar eclipses happen at all because the Sun and Moon are almost exactly the same size in the sky from our perspective. Our Moon is over 200,000 miles from the Earth. You may have driven the distance to the Moon if you have a car with that many miles on it. But the Sun is over 90 million miles from the Earth. I'm sure you don't have a car with that many miles on it. Interestingly, the distance the Sun is from the Earth is almost exactly 400 times farther away than the Moon is. The Moon orbits once every 29.53 days. This gives rise to the Moon's phases. Solar eclipses can only happen during the new Moon phase, when the Moon and the Sun are together on the same side of the sky. But eclipses don't happen every new moon. The details of the moon's orbit determine when this is happening. In fact, the moon's orbit is tilted with respect to the Earth's sun line, and this tilt changes within plus or minus 5 degrees every 18.6 years. Even if the sun, the moon, and the Earth are perfectly aligned, you don't always get a total solar eclipse. The apparent size of the moon changes in the sky because the moon is not always the same distance from the Earth at every position in its orbit. This gives rise to annular eclipses, in which the moon passes directly in front of the sun but is not quite big enough in the sky to completely cover the surface of the sun. This means that total solar eclipses are very rare events for particular locations on Earth. As totality approaches in Geneva, New York on April 8th, the temperature will drop, the sky will darken until the brightest stars and planets become visible in the afternoon sky, and the partially eclipsed sun will create unusual shadows on the ground. When the last rays of the sun are no longer able to peek through the deepest valleys on the lunar surface, the black disk of the moon will replace the sun's shining face, leaving the moon with a crown of streaming light. This crown is actually the sun's corona, a superheated plasma, 2 million degrees in temperature, that is visible only during a total eclipse, when the light from the sun's surface can't overwhelm it. Anytime any part of the sun's surface is showing, make sure to wear your eclipse glasses. But during the 2 minutes and 15 seconds of totality, you can take them off to see the corona. This is the only time you will be able to see the corona with your own eyes. I hope you have a great day and enjoy the experience because the next total solar eclipse will not happen in Geneva until the year 2144.